little Sephora haul of the stuff that I picked up in this for sale. One of our friends like basically convinced us all to go get piercings, so I finally Okay, Show us your glasses. Give us a try on. <laughs> Good morning. It's afternoon. It's 11.30. No, it's, it's afternoon. It's still morning. It's not afternoon till 12. That's part of the afternoon too. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> what is this? This is deja vu. Wow. This is deja vu. Like where we are, me having my vlog camera out talking, is all deja vu right now. That's crazy. I don't remember. I can't recall. I don't have it. Oh my god, we're gonna we're gonna do this clip over in the car. <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome back, or good afternoon guys, welcome back to the vlogs. I'm back in Houston, I was gone, if you guys are new here or didn't watch my last vlog, I was in Jamaica for 10 days, I was visiting family, and we just got back, today is Thursday, I got back on Tuesday, and I got invited to the new crew store, they have a new store in Rice Village, right, we're in mm -hmm. Rice Village, um, and so I brought Jonathan, we both got to pick out a pair of sunglasses, so these are the ones I picked, they're called the, oh my god, I had to write them down because I knew I was going to forget, um, they're on the frame. Oh, oops. They're the Bolden. And I really like them. I like the frame, like the actual color of the frame. They just look very luxe. Super cute. You can kind of see them a little bit better there. And then Jonathan picked out a pair. Show us yours. These are Jonathan's. And they are made of titanium, so they're more of like an athletic wear. And I think all of their glasses are unisex, she said. So these are what his look like. And what happened to my camera? Did it just overheat? Oh, I could, I can't see, <laughs> I can't see the, I was like, what happened? It's because of the, they're polarized. That's so crazy. But yeah, these are his and these are really nice for like any guy who's like athletic, who like is outside a lot, like golfing or anything like that. These would be really good for them. So I will link both of these pairs down below if you guys want to check them out. But it was so generous that they invited us and we both got to pick out a pair of frames. Um, but I'm going to go home. I have a lot of like work that I need to catch up on and I also have to do an interview later so I'm gonna go home and do that and then I will pick up my camera and talk to you guys a little bit later. Wait. You look good on you. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I stopped and got coffee at this little coffee shop that we passed. So I was running late this morning and I didn't have time to scroll. Wait, but that's so cool. I've never had, I don't think I've ever had polarized sunglasses then because I've never had that happen to me before in my life. Really? Yeah, that was really weird. <laughs> I like these though. I don't have any sunglasses like this. And they had like different lens colors too, but I liked these. And that's, that's the cleaning cloth. 504. Yeah, the company's based out of New Orleans, <laughs> which is really cool. That's, but that's why it's spelt crew with a K, right? Jonathan? Not Jonathan did all the research. I didn't do any research. Yeah, you did. You said you looked it up. Yeah, to see what glasses they had. Oh. So you just knew I was going to let you pick a pair. No, I was picking out for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Well, lucky for you, I love you and I let you. I let you get a pair. Wham, no, honestly wham. though, like, I feel like... When you get invited to events like that and you get, I don't think she said that I got to bring a plus one. I don't even remember her saying that I got two pairs. I knew, I thought I only got one. So I was like, oh, like, if anything, I was just going to buy you a pair because you came with me. It's too late. Too late. Um, uh, I was just going to buy you a pair because you came with me. I don't need me. you guessing whether a street is two lanes or not. I mean, two way. I, I don't need you guessing. It's two way. It's fine. Regardless. <laughs> um... 
but I feel like when you go to events like that, it's almost like it should be a given that you're going to share with the person. You know what I mean? Like if I had invited anyone and anyone else with me, I would have let them pick a pair. I just feel like that's yeah. just like common courtesy. No, you would have, but like they're trying that that second person might necessarily not necessarily do anything for them. I know, but then like one day I might post a photo of you in your sunglasses and someone comments and like, "Hey, what sunglasses are those? Like I want to get a new pair of yeah, sunglasses for my boyfriend." They, so it's like they expect you to do that anyways with yourself. I guess uh -huh. but I mean like because I got you a pair Wait, of course on. I'm gonna share your pair what are you hot uh, sorry I was I didn't want it to be too loud on the camera so I turned it down a little you care more about your camera and your, your YouTube fans or me I mean I'm not that hot so Dang. I guess so what you're saying is you care about them more than me no that's not nah, what I'm I saying I got it I got that's it that's not I what I'm understand. saying at all whatever good morning angels the next day, I pin curled my hair last night. Oh, so I'm taking all of the pins out. I had a little too much to drink, but the little TikTok live was so fun. Um, so if you don't follow me on TikTok, then you missed out. But today's Friday and I got a lot of what I needed to get done yesterday. I need to film a campaign today and what else do I need to do? Just like batch shoot a bunch of content for next week. That's what I'll be doing all weekend. Just batch shooting stuff because I'm gonna be busy. So I'm not mad at my hair. It didn't stay too curly. This is like a different set of hair than the last one that I had. So it definitely holds the curl different, but I like that it kept the body and I don't have to do my hair i think i'm just gonna recurl these front pieces this is a curling iron i've been using i just got it actually this is the hot tools curling iron and i really like it because it's just very sleek and it's not too expensive like i paid less than i think 80 dollars for this so um i highly recommend and it curls my hair pretty well oh, so many things um but yeah, today is going to be a full on work day, answering emails, and I actually like hired on a temp management team just to kind of see how it works because obviously you guys know I like have a degree and I plan on working soon. So see how quick that heated up. Um, I plan on working soon and I'm going to need help just like answering emails. So um and like talking to brands and stuff so hopefully that will help me out why am i dropping everything um so yeah we're gonna see how it goes i hope that it goes well i really like the girls they're super sweet and like i don't know they seem like they are advocates for me and like want to see me be successful in my career outside of you know obviously like them making money off of me um but yeah Tomorrow's gonna be fun. We have a little girls brunch for one of my friends. So I will take you guys along. Maybe I'll just make this like a full on weekend vlog. Not sure, but. You need some frizz control. This is the hair. Now let's get coffee. Oh, uh, yes, please, Thank actually. You Thank you. I just got a caramel latte and a butter croissant. And also um, go by difficulty. Listening to Summer Rachel Warren's podcast. This is the company. I don't remember how, or I don't know how to pronounce it, um, but they just opened up one next to my house and unpopular opinion i don't necessarily love starbucks like i don't know i feel like every time i have it i feel like i'm cheated out of coffee and it's just like it doesn't 
wow me like i'd much rather make coffee at home so i was really excited to have a new coffee shop open up by the house and i tried it before i left for my trip and i really liked it so hopefully i will like kind of make this like my home coffee spot and i just got a butter croissant i'm gonna go get my car wash the pollen here has been insane um as you guys can probably hear i sound so stuffy because of all of my allergies so um my car just is like gross and it was dirty from before I left and anyway so I like vacuumed inside this morning and I'm just gonna go get the exterior wash since I leave my car in the garage anyway I'm not really that worried about the pollen honestly whatever pollen falls on my car would look better than what it looks like right now so um we are gonna go get this baby wash you guys know if you follow me on IG at Summer Rachel Warren, I always ask for questions. <clears throat> okay, I'm home now. I finished my coffee, my croissant. Obviously, we went to the car wash. I just had lunch. A lot has happened since I picked up the camera, but I wanted to do a little Sephora haul of the stuff that I picked up in this for sale. Um, I didn't get that much, but I thought I would share. So I restocked. I've already used and opened these, but I restocked on the Summer Fridays Vitamin C Serum. This is the best vitamin C serum I've ever used in my life. I feel like a lot of vitamin C serums that I've tried, I don't really notice a difference. Um, and they may lighten like a pimple or two or like a scar or two, but it's just like not a significant difference and not worth the money because vitamin C is a very expensive product. And this thing, I used it last night and I woke up this morning and I was like, oh my God, my skin looks like really nice. What have I, like, what did I change? And I was like, oh my God, it's the vitamin C serum. Like literally instantly, it just like gives you like a glow, brightens your skin. It gets rid of like, a bunch, I have a bunch of scars and stuff on my forehead and I'm really excited to see if they'll start to fade. Like a lot of them have already started to fade. Um, and it just, I don't know, within like three or so days, like the scars that I have here and like here will be gone, I promise you. So I love this um, and it's pretty pricey. So again, this would be like the perfect time to pick this up. Um, I also got this Kosas concealer, which I have not tried yet, but I'm about to do my makeup and get ready for the day. I picked out my shade online. So I'm actually pretty surprised that this sh like shade will work. Um, and I thought that it was actually going to be a little bit darker, which <clears throat> my NARS concealer is like my skin tone. And I used to use the Hourglass Concealer, which is another really, really, really great concealer. It's just full coverage and it does give me a little bit of like a yellow tint underneath my eyes. And I feel like because the summer's rolling around, obviously I'll like get a tan here and there just from being in the sun and since I just came back from Jamaica I know I have a little bit of color and I feel like this is just gonna make my under eyes look pretty yellow and it's done like there's literally nothing left in here so I decided instead of restocking on this I would just try the Kosas one so hopefully I like it and then this is my NARS concealer so you can see that the NARS one is just a lot darker like if I want to spot conceal this is what I use because it is actually my complexion this one's a little bit lighter so I can use this underneath my eyes to brighten so we're gonna try that out today and then this is not from Sephora but Desi sent me the new moisturizer and I love it the consistency of this is so good it's like it's a gel cream um, and I usually don't like gels because I feel like they make you feel even more dry after you put on like the moisturizer but this stuff, one, I love the pump. It's like the drug elephant one where you just like pump it here and then like wipe it off at the top. So you're getting the exact amount of moisturizer that you need and you're not putting on too much or too little. And the consistency is just insane. Um, I don't have the card, but I know it has like niacinamide in it. Um, it's supposed to give you a glow. I have the little card with, let's see. The active ingredients are DP Restore, niacinamide, um, it has hyaluronic acid in it. I'll kind of put this here so you guys can look at that, screenshot that if you want. It's $45, which is not too bad for a moisturizer, and I feel like you get a pretty good amount. This is 1.7 ounces, um, and it's just like a very nicely textured moisturizer. If you've ever used the Tula moisturizer, it's pretty similar in consistency. I personally feel like that this one is a 
bit thicker which I like because I have drier skin so I thought I would just share those with you guys I might pick up a few more stuff as the sale goes on but I know that I don't really need anything so I just wanted to get essentials um but we're gonna do our makeup it's like almost two o'clock no I'm lying it's not that late it's 12 48 so I need to get to filming and stuff for the day because I want to batch shoot a bunch of content today and tomorrow um so i'm gonna do my camera i'm gonna do my makeup off camera but i'll show you guys what the concealer looks like once it's on okay so i'm filming the look for tiktok but this is the concealer it looks really good it's like your skin but better it's a little lighter but it's not too crazy like i could wear with a tinted moisturizer and i wouldn't look like a raccoon and I love I put it in my t-zone as well and I think that it's a really really nice concealer and I think it's like $28 which is a cheaper than a lot of other concealers but I'm here for it filming the full look for tiktok I always have my tiktok linked below if you guys aren't following me makeup is all done and I am freaking obsessed I mean look at my skin I'm using the Fenty skin tint Kosas concealer this lip combo is really good. It's dibs. I don't know the shade, but it's the darkest pink shade that they have. And then I use this, oh, I use this NARS lipstick that I got. It's Dolce Vita. And I love. We're getting ready to film. I got this dress in the mail from Shopo. This is like their resort collection, I think. Or they just have like a bunch of gowns and stuff. And this is the dress. Really high slit. And it has like chain detailing all along the back. It's very low cut, but it's so freaking flattering. So cute. So I'm going to style this for my TikTok. Um, probably like light jewelry since it's all chain. And I'll probably do like a really chunky hoop or something. Um, and yeah. We're gonna get to filming. I've just filmed, actually filmed this makeup tutorial for TikTok. So if you're not following me, I think I said that earlier. Then that's there and just trying to get as much content out as I possibly can because we have plans tomorrow and I need some stuff to post. I was on vacation for so long and I miss filming and filming content. So my screen is dirty. Or maybe it's scratch. I don't know. So I've been filming, but I got a few packages in the mail, so I wanted to do a little haul. That's why my bed looks like a disaster. So Shop September Threads sent me some pieces. Um, they've been following me on Instagram for a while, and she decided to send me some stuff. So this is like a tank bandeau. Like it has straps here, and then you wrap this around your back. And it comes with matching shorts. Cute. I love this mint color. Very appropriate for the fall. What else? Where are the rest of the clothes? Oh, here it is. So she also sent this crochet dress halter. Really cute. It's a knit dress. Love this for like a fun vacation. This would be really cute. And she also sent this dress. This one is like the ultimate vacation dress. And I've seen so many people style this on their um, Instagram. So it has sleeves. This wraps around your neck like so. Cuts out in the middle. And then it's just like a midi dress, which is going to be so cute to style. Then I also got my package in the mail from Ula Lux. And this package is really exciting. I'm excited for these pieces. So this is a black button down top, which I think is going to be perfect to style with the denim shorts. This is iconic. Um, and we love a good basic that we can style multiple different ways in multiple seasons. That's what I'm kind of into right now is just buying basics, like not getting all these like loud colored patterns, like just buying simple basic stuff, like simple ba bandos, blazers, jeans, short stuff like that, because I feel like those are things that I can rewear and restyle and always incorporate them into my wardrobe. They're also really good investment pieces and in getting things that are nice quality that I know will last me for years and years. 
Um, this dress is gorgeous. This color, one shoulder, I think, or one shoulder is thick, one shoulder is thin, cuts out on both sides. Gorgeous midi maxi. This is probably a midi on me, but it's probably a maxi on a lot of normal length people. <laughs> um, this is a really pretty dress. This is cute. I love this color and it's adjustable it has um like an adjustable band in the back so it won't be too snug and kind of will fit on any sort of body type like it's just i don't know it's really cute and i like this color a lot i wanted to go for a spring vibe i create content for them so i was going for more of a spring vibe since that's obviously the season that we're in and you want to style things for people to like buy and wear now so this top I thought it was really cute bodysuit love the blue detailing I didn't even realize on the website that there's a cutout here um, and I really like this I feel like these sort of necklines are very flattering if you're into like a girly aesthetic and then the last thing I have from them is this dress she's gonna be a little short on me but we're gonna make it work and yeah so I film content for them once a month, so I need to film that. I honestly might wait until tomorrow. I think I'm kind of tired of filming for the day. Um, but yeah, maybe I will shoot photos in those and then I'll film like the TikTok and stuff. I need it to kind of brainstorm ideas of what I want to do. But I'm going to clean up my room. It's a bit of a disaster. All of these clothes, hang them up, put them on my clothing rack. Um, because I cleaned out so many clothes yesterday whenever I was doing my little closet clean out on TikTok. Like I have so many more hangers now, which I did not have before. Look at all the hangers we cleared out, which is iconic. But look at the disaster of clothes on the floor that I now need to organize. Um and start posting i think that's what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night is go through all of my photos my instagram for clothes that i've shot in that i have photos in that i can post on poshmark and then everything else i'll just like actually take pictures in and post them so yeah let's set you guys up here and let's do a quick little cleaning montage Look at my eye <laughs> from the allergies like the pollen count is so freaking high and i just took a benadryl after riding this morning my allergies are acting up but i wanted to show you guys the outfit that i wore today um oh my god ew there's a lizard on my window okay this set is set active 
the Sculpt Flex material. Yeah, coming. And then I just have on this white tank from Paragon, I think is the name of the brand. And my sweatshirt is Abercrombie. Birthday girl! I'm so mad at myself because I forgot to bring my vlog camera to brunch, but I vlogged some clips on my phone. We had so much fun and I'm so excited that I got to see everybody. I love hanging out with my friends, especially now that like everyone's back in town. Um, obviously like we all went to college and stuff, so we were all in different states and stuff for so long. And so like now that we can actually hang out with each other, it just like makes me really excited. So, um, I was just rushing out the house and forgot my vlog camera, but one of our friends like basically convinced us all to go get piercings. So I finally got my thirds done and I'm so happy. Both of these earrings are from Missouri and then these are the studs that the tattoo guy gave us. Um, I did both third holes and then I just ordered um, a new pair of studs. Let me get my phone. I ordered some studs from Missouri. That's where both of these are from. So this is what they look like. They're the Lotus stud and I feel like they're going to look so cute um, in my ear. I wanted a little bit of a diamond to kind of tie in this one here. This little blue topaz is so pretty for my jury. Um, but yeah, I'm so mad I didn't vlog, but I did get clips on my phone and then, um, I'll answer like my Instagram story clips too. Um, cause it was a really fun day, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here because tomorrow won't be too crazy of a day. And then Monday I start my new job. So, um, I will kind of like, I haven't really talked about it so we'll just like kind of play by ear and see how things go and then maybe i'll elaborate more on it and then um depending on how these first couple of day goes i how these first couple of days go then i will probably do like a morning routine and then a night routine like pre post work so yeah i'm really excited to start this new journey and i hope that you guys enjoy enjoyed this vlog i feel like it was very eventful trying to get back into some sort of routine after my travels um but everything's about to change again so um make sure you guys are subscribed if you're not already and like this video if you enjoyed and if you're not following me on any of my other social media tiktok and instagram are where i post the most and you guys love the content over there so if you're not following me there then i highly recommend because you're missing out on a lot but thank you guys so much for watching this vlog and i'll see you all in the next one Bye.